Yeah, what is going on, everybody? I'm your host, Rob, back with another episode of From My Experience Podcast. I want to start out by thanking you, our listeners, our subscribers, those of you listening, having conversations with friends and family, liking, sharing, subscribing, interacting with our Instagram and our fan base. Let me give a huge... Huge shout out to Fanbase, F-M-E underscore podcast on Fanbase. Fanbase is an app similar to Instagram with one huge difference. For those creators out there and those of you who want to support creators, you can monetize your page instantly. It also has chat features similar to Clubhouse, so it is taking the best of a lot of other platforms and combining it into one. Shout out to Isaac Hayes. Sir, thank you so much. Isaac Hayes the third, to be exact, um, brought us this lovely platform, and we are on there, and we're going to be more dedicated to using it because it is black-owned, and I got to support my people. Now, I only got one question for y'all. Are you in or are you out? That's the topic today. No, it's been a new thing for me not to keep y'all very long. I'm not going to keep y'all long today, man. Are you in or are you out? Just going to share some life experiences and some updates with y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Don't forget you can shop with our affiliates, Acre Gold, Gardener's Garden, and Job Farms. Check the link in our description. You can support the show that way. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. We're going to get into a couple of things today, ladies and gentlemen. But how y'all doing out there? Y'all good? Y'all all right? You having breakfast, lunch, dinner, chilling with Bay? Hope y'all doing all right out there. Let's go. Are you in or are you out, man? That's that's all I can think of right now. You know that that that's the question I've been asking myself lately. Shout out to Romo, Romo, man, classic beats, love it. Yo, man. So this is where we at. We we're at a new level and a new plateau when it comes to the podcast and when it just comes to me as a person. So. The most recent news I have to share with y'all is I have an LLC. Well, I had an LLC. Started it back in 2015 called Complete Vision Entertainment. Started in South Carolina. Did good business in South Carolina. I DJed and I did real estate. It was great. I loved it. It was fun. Then a few years ago, I moved to the DMV. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. And, you know, uh, I wasn't doing as much business. Obviously, I wasn't in South Carolina, but I was also trying to find myself, trying to find a strong foothold up in the DMV. And, you know, upon doing research and settling into the podcast a lot more, um, deciding to take a step back from real estate as far as being an agent doesn't mean I'm done with real estate. Definitely want to buy and flip some properties and hold on to some rentals with some investors create some investment pods we'll talk about that another day but i said you know what are we doing with this thing what are we doing you filing taxes you're looking at numbers what are you excuse me what are you doing with your business and i said yo it's time for the next step so if you're a loyal listener or if you've listened to the last few episodes you know i've talked about vending machines shout out to vending university um yeah I, I've done enough research, which has definitely saved me a lot of potential, let's say, heartache, pain, and uh, fines. So in the beautiful state of Virginia, you got to do quite a few. Well, not I won't say quite a few. You got to do a few things before you can operate a business. So what did I do? 
I've been asking myself, are you in or are you, or are you out? What you going to do with your LLC? What you going to do? You got to get this business together. You've done your research on the vending machines. You got everything lined up. You know what you need to do. Do it. I said, I'm in. I'm in. Continued to do my research, found out what I needed to do. And ladies and gentlemen, I have officially relocated my LLC to the DMV area. Name change coming soon. When that is official, I will announce that. Some of y'all care. Some of y'all might not care. But to my people thinking about starting a business or those of you who already have a business, when you decide to relocate, if you decide to relocate, you do not have to start a whole nother LLC. You can keep that good old beautiful history, whether that be credit history, should be your credit history because you're not it's not a new entity. Um, and just your reputation, you can bring it with you. I want to say in most cases. Um, for me and for in in Virginia, which is interesting, um, it's just a form. They just need an update updated version or currently marked version that, hey, you know, this LLC was established here. Booyah, it's in good standing. They look at it. They say, all right, cool, bong, you're here now. It was that simple. I did a little research to find out what else I needed to conduct the type of business I wanted to conduct. That's a couple other steps. I got to apply for some permits. But I moved it. You know, I'm going to change the name as well because Complete Vision Entertainment is not broad enough for what I'm going to be doing because it's not just going to be entertainment. I will give you all that name um, probably by next episode, I'm assuming the name will be changed officially. Um, just got to do some small updates here and there, but it'll be done. But um, I'm sharing this because I know that there are people out there who have businesses, who've started businesses, and maybe you know, you're thinking about starting a business and you haven't been through this process yet. It's simple. Um, I'm definitely a pay for service type of person like I don't like paperwork I don't like to get in the the minutia of things like if I can pay somebody to do it I'll do it but um when I initiated my LLC in South Carolina I definitely used legal zoom because I wanted the fancy portfolio and articles of organization yada 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 all of that good stuff and I have it and it's beautiful and I'll keep it forever um, it's funny cause I'm changing the name. So all that stuff doesn't matter now, but <laughs> I paid, you know, um, probably paid a little close, probably close to over double of what I would have paid if I would have did it myself. But you know, I got some fancy keepsakes to go along with it. Right. But I say that to say this, even if you are going to pay someone to do a service, you should still do the research so that just in case, in the future, you want to do it yourself, you know how to do it, and you know how the process works. Typically, there's some type of county website or state website, secretary of state website, some type of website where you can just do it online. And it's usually not that expensive. $100, $150, $50 for this form, $25 for that form. You know, um, shout out to Jessica Fountain. Um, I'm my lovely former co-host, we've always talked about handling business and get, making sure that paperwork is right. And that's a very big thing. Now, I know there's a lot of, there's a, there's a couple trains of thoughts when it comes to business. Some people are like, oh, just get started. You can do it later. In some situations and scenarios, it's okay to do that. But I will caution you and I will say this, depending on the state that you live in, Look up what it what's required for the type of business you want to conduct. For me, for vending machines, actually, which is funny, well, number one in Virginia, when you establish an LLC, you don't have to tell them the purpose of your business. Like in South Carolina, you have to state the purpose of this LLC. Like what is the main source of income associated with this LLC um, when you apply for an EIN number? Um, and I had to let the state know as well. Well, in Virginia, I was I hit them up and I was like, yo, you know, I want to change the type of business. They was like, oh, well, in the state of Virginia, we really don't care. I was like, oh, so it's just general business. Cool. Good to know that. Good to know. Also, in order for me to run my vending machine business up here, I got to have permits for the state and the city that I want to uh, place machines in. And I've read in a couple different places, oh, just get started, just do what you got to do. But when you read and you learn that <laughs> the state is like, hey, you need a permit, 
oh, you selling goods? Yeah, you got to pay taxes monthly or quarterly, depending on your business and the type of income you're receiving. Now, yes, I could have circumvented that. I could have said, you know what, I'm going to put a machine here, blah, blah, blah. But if you're like me and you've been successful in other areas of your life, you know that you garner attention. When you garner attention, you garner the attention of people that love you and people that hate you. And everybody knows how to use Google. So the last thing I want is someone to see me place a vending machine somewhere, cleaning up, racking up bread, getting jealous, and trying to pull my information to see if my business is quote-unquote legit, and it's not. Then they call them folks on me. And then I get levied a fine of upwards of $2,500 or more. These are the situations and scenarios that I think about and I like to avoid. No, I am not a worst case scenario type of person. I am a realistic, let me see what the heck I'm supposed to be doing type of person. You know why? Because I always want to do legitimate business. I want to know that if someone approaches me with a partnership opportunity or sponsorship opportunity or collaboration opportunity, I am ready. My paperwork is together. Let's take this thing to the next level because I'm good. Versus, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, man, we can do that. You know, I got to get a couple things straight. And now I'm scrambling to figure out what I need to do to make sure I'm legit because I don't want no one to say, oh, you got permits? And I don't have them. Oh, you licensed in the state? And I'm not. You see what I'm saying? When you, I think about the bigger picture in the long term. Short term, yeah, you can go ahead and get started, do your thing, make some money. But what happens when you want to grow? What happens when you want employees? What happens when you want to collaborate? What happens when a gold mine, potential gold mine business, or someone who wants to do business with you says, yeah, I want to do business with you, but I got to make sure you're good. Can, can you show me your documentation? And you're not ready. You've just made your first impression. And again, you open the door for haters and competition to rain on your parade. No, 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 no. Not over here. We not doing that. So those are just my thoughts, my experiences. That's where I am today. I've input the name change. Hopefully the name change comes through quick. Uh, (laughs) the, The moving process took a day. Literally filled out the application yesterday on Monday and today while I was at work, booyah, they hit me back. Year, you good to go. So I was like, wow, registered on the website and everything. So I was like, all right, let me do this name change. Bong, done. So are you in or out, ladies and gentlemen? That's the question. That's the question. Ask yourself that. Whatever thoughts you have on the forefront of your mind, whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is you're thinking about working on, ask yourself, are you in or out? When I decided to resign from teaching and do real estate full time, I was all the way in. Tapped every financial asset I had and threw it in and I went in. And it was fun and it worked for a while, but it wasn't for me in the end. So I dipped Came back to education. Now I'm back in education, doing my thing, loving it. Next up, you know, uh, and with this podcast, all the way in. Website coming soon. New equipment, boom. Ring lights, bow. Wireless microphones, bow. I am already working on getting the first live show done within the next six months. Especially now that my LLC has moved and I can do legitimate business here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have a live show, you know, especially uh, since COVID has quieted. Uh, It's not gone, but, you know, it's still there. So I'm still cautious about that. So all in with the podcast. Also, all in with my new business venture with these vending machines. I've already got a couple locations scouted. I got the machines that I want scouted. I got the funds readily available. I just want my paperwork together so that when I get started, I ain't worried about nothing. I don't want to be worried about nothing at night. As they say, a vending university turning snacks into stacks. That's what we trying to do. What are you trying to do? What are you working on? Are you in or out? The people you are working with, talking to, collaborating with, are they in or out? Is your paperwork together? Is you straight? 
If someone approached you tomorrow with a 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 100,000, half a million, a million dollar deal on the table, is your paperwork ready for you to be able to sign that and say, I'm legit, I'm good, let's go? If not, take a look at it. It's probably not that complicated. Usually it isn't. Usually it isn't. It's usually a 10-minute process. Simple stuff. What's your name? What's the name of the business? What's the address? Oh, you need a permit? What do you need a permit for? What are you doing with this permit? Where is this going to be at? What's your name? What's the name of your business? All right, give me $25. It's really that simple. Do it, man. Save yourself the tossing and turning at night. Save yourself from sweating when someone asks you, is your stuff legit, and they start asking you for documentation. Save yourself the trouble and just do it the right way. That's just my advice to you. That's my advice. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. That's my advice to you. Wish me luck, peace, prayer, and blessings on this next journey. I will keep y'all posted. But I just wanted to share that because that is just a question I've had to ask myself. Are you in or are you out? These little fees adding up. I got to do this and do that. I said I'm in. What I need to do? Bong, 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 bong. Knocked it all out. Knocked it all out, all out in less than three days. Hopefully the name change again, like I said, will be done in the next couple days. Also, been tapping in with my accountability partners. Have you gotten accountability partners yet? If you're a listener, loyal listener, outside of business, in life, in general, mentors, accountability partners, you need people to help push you forward to that next level. Someone to hold you accountable for all that smack you be talking. Yeah, dog, I'm about to make this move. I'm about to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, girl, you know, I've been thinking about blah, 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 and I'm about to blah, blah, blah. Who holding you accountable? You ain't holding yourself accountable enough. The average person don't hold themselves that accountable. I don't hold myself that accountable. On a scale of one to 10, I might be a five and a half. Maybe. Maybe. Because if it ain't something I'm passionate about, like this podcast, hey. I don't know. I don't know. All right. That's all I got for y'all on that tip, man. Are you in or are you out? Look in the mirror and ask yourself that question. I hope the answer is I'm in. If you're in, do what you got to do. Make the necessary moves. Pay the fees. File your paperwork. And let's go. And don't forget... Don't forget this very important tidbit. Shout out to my mentor, Corwin J. Millett of Exit Realty Low Country Group, located on Ashley Phosphate Road, North Charleston, South Carolina. One thing that he taught me, mm, one thing he taught me, when you are in business and you are out in the street, you with friends, you with fr- family, you at lunch, you meet somebody new, you talk about your business. You ain't got to make the whole comp conversation about your business, but you need to make mention because you never know who that person is and who that person knows because I even got an opportunity myself based off of that. I believe I said that on another show, but I wanted to reiterate that for my people who are in business or thinking about getting into business. I just mentioned in a casual conversation, hey, you know, I'm looking at getting into the vending machine business. You know, I, I got some stuff together. and but, Oh, yeah, well, you know, we could definitely use a machine, blah, blah, blah. I'll make that phone call for you. Boom. 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 I've gotten two opportunities. based. Actually, I've gotten three opportunities. Got my teeth cleaned at my dentist. I meant the ladies were like, hey, what are you doing after, uh, you know, you get your appointments done? What you doing for the rest of the day? I said, oh, I'm going to scout some locations to play some vending machines. Oh, my goodness. We have a lunch break, but we're not allowed to leave the building. So we, we would love a vending machine in here. Booyah. Booyah. Casual conversation. Not trying to sell them anything. Not trying to say I'm the greatest vendor in the world. Not trying to be Mr. Business Guy. That's all I talk about. It was casual conversation and it was genuine because that's what I was going to do. But I said, ah, you want a vending machine, do you? Ah. I got to do some more scouting to make sure that that is a viable location and make sure that I put the type, the right type of machine in there. But that also prompted me 
to 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 really get this paperwork done because now I'm talking to a building manager, someone who owns some property, who owns a building of suites. And when you own a building of suites, there's a lot of red tape. You want to make sure everything that's happening in your place of business is legit. And the last thing I wanted to do was call this person, man or woman, whoever, and say, hey, I want a place of vending machine in your place of business. Okay, cool. Are you licensed and permitted? I want the answer to be yes the first time. And I want to tell the truth. (laughs) I want my first impression to be, hey, I'm coming to you correct. Let's do business. Because clearly for you to own this huge building where these people are placing their offices and businesses, you know what you're doing. I can't take the chance of you not knowing and just being ignorant to the facts. I'd rather be on the safe side. And guess what? If we make a great deal together the first time, that means you probably got other locations and I can make other deals with you. Just saying, all this happened within the last week. But anyway... Oh, man, 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 man. That's where I'm at today, ladies and gentlemen. I I just need to decompress a little bit. Wait, that's the wrong music. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Error on my part. Black Brothers, where y'all at, man? Brothers, strong black man, wonderful black man, intelligent black man, beautiful black man, passionate black man, faithful black man, God-fearing black man. Congratulations, you made it another day in this hectic and crazy world. Congratulations, you have people in your life that love you. Congratulations, you have people in your life that care about you. Congratulations. You accomplished some things in your life. Congratulations. You have people that respect you and look up to you. Congratulations on that wonderful, beautiful skin of yours. Congratulations. Sorry, brothers. I'm fired because I let my my, um, device ring. But I just want to congratulate you on you being you. Continue to push forward towards excellence. Take care of your mental well-being, your physical well-being, your spiritual well-being. You cannot be Superman 24-7. You cannot be Mr. Tough Guy 24-7. You cannot do it all, all the time. We all need a break. We all need rest. We all need relaxation. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. So get your ass up when it's time to work, but when it's time to rest and take a break, sit your ass down. All right? Check on your homies this week. (laughs) Call them. FaceTime them. Text them. Ask them how the family's doing. How your mama doing. How you doing. What you got planned. What's next? Let's get up. That's what I want y'all to do. All right? And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Are you in or are you out? Simple question. Until next time, take care of yourselves physically, mentally, financially. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do all of the things you need to do. All right? I love y'all. Thank you for the continued support. Instagram, FME underscore podcast. Facebook, From My Experience Podcast. Fan base, FME underscore podcast. If you're not listening on iTunes, I want y'all to listen to iTunes. We're going to be migrating on iTunes soon because iTunes gives us the power to monetize. Fan base gives us the power to monetize. There's power in that. You are capable, you are able. All you got to do is take one step forward, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. That's it. It's that simple. You ain't got to finish the race in one day. But in order to compete, 
and to participate, you gotta move forward.